All right, so let's look at another one. A free body diagram, a rigid body that is in equilibrium. So we know the sum of the forces in x equals zero, sum of the forces in y equals zero, sum of the moments equals zero. Um, let's draw the free body diagram and calculate whatever is happening at pin A and roller B. So it tells us it's a pin, but we should be able to tell from the figure it's a pin. Here, B is just a roller. B is just a roller. So if I was to draw a free body diagram, uh, I'm, I think I'm going to just draw on top of this figure. Um, I would have an AX and an AY because it's a pin. And then here, I would have a force at B. This isn't BX. It isn't BY. It is at 30. Let's see, let's see what direction it's at. The incline is 30 degrees from horizontal. So this is going to be 30 degrees from vertical. You know, we could draw some triangles, 30, 60, 30, 60, 60, 30. Um, we would get that that force needs to be 30 degrees from vertical. That force needs to be 30 degrees from vertical. Okay. Uh, generally, if I ask you to draw a free body diagram, I, I kind of want it out here. So maybe I should have done this. If I ask for a free body diagram... I want it to be, sorry, that's AX, AY. Uh, I've still that, got that 750. Um, I've got this FB, which is 30 degrees from vertical. Uh, my, in my class, when I ask for free, free body diagrams, and if you're drawing it in your um, notes or on a test, if I explicitly ask for it, I want it to be self-sufficient. So I want you to include axes, dimensions, angles, things like that. So now I can s just refer to my free body diagram. I don't have to go back and look at the figure. I don't even have to go back usually and look at the problem statement. I can just look at that free body diagram and solve for the unknowns. Let me solve for the unknown. So what can I do? I can sum the forces in the x direction, right? Ax is in the x direction. And then let's see, what component of Fb FB sine 30, and that's it, set that equal to zero. Now, I, I wish that only that equation only had one unknown, and then I could solve for that um, unknown. But it has um, two unknowns, so I can't solve right away. So let me just pause and let me jump to my next equation. Maybe leave a little bit of space so that I can go back here and do some math. In the y direction, I've got AY, negative 750, positive FB cosine 30 equals zero. Again, that has two unknowns. Then I think, oh, well, maybe do, do, do these two equations have two unknowns? Do those two equations have three unknowns? Let me keep on moving. Now, the more you do these, the more you might actually want to start with your moment equation. Why might you want to start with your moment equation? Because your moment equation, you can think ahead you can decide what point you want to do your moment about, and nine times out of ten, that moment equation, you can make it so that it only has one unknown. How can I make this moment equation so that it only has one unknown? Well, if I sum my moments about B, then the FB uh, won't show up in my equation, but I would have AX and AY in my equation. But how about summing the moments about A, AX and AY go straight through it, AX and AY go straight through it, uh, and so they won't show up in my equation. So let me sum my moments about A. AX goes straight through it. AY goes straight through it. Let's think about 750. What type of moment does it create about A? 750. Uh, it is three feet away, creating a negative, right? I, I want to say positive is counterclockwise. That would be a negative moment. Um, then, let, let me go back to my free body diagram. Then how about this one, FB... Let's see, that would be the cosine 30. This would be FB sine, FB cosine. Let's start with FB cosine uh, six feet away, right, with a moment arm of six feet away. FB cosine 30 times six feet away, creating a positive, right, a counterclockwise, so a positive moment. Uh, the FB sine 30 is down here, it would create a negative. Its moment arm is two feet, two feet away, creating a negative moment. Set that equals zero, and I can solve for FB. All right, I can solve for FB. FB, I've got 536 
pounds. That one should not come out negative, right? Because I know that it can only be pushing. It can't be pulling on that um, that roller. Uh, but anyway, so I got 536. Plug that back in up there. A little bit of math. Make sure we say equals zero so that this math comes out correct. Solve for AY. I would get AY is 286 pounds. It came out positive. Uh, go plug that back up there. AX, I would get to be 2... I believe this is correct, 268 pounds. All right, so let's step back and look at what we did. We drew a free body diagram, knowing that that was a pin, so it needs an AX and an AY. Knowing this is a roller, so it just needs a force, FB, that is perpendicular to the incline. And then some of the forces in X, some of the forces in Y, some of the moments, three equations, and we had three unknowns that we solved for.